There you go, I found the skip scene. Hi everyone, I'm Cinder89. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. As we do this fight again, throw. Uh, no, let me try it. There we go. And this will get through it pretty quick. We'll also cast Protect on everybody. And throw. So, round two. I mean it, that's going to be the only tough part of the fight, is that part. Because Rubicon is going to work the same way. He's... You can use the same trick as you did before. Take 9,999. Go haste. Mirage. Again. Summon. Uh, who got put to sleep? Azuna. Haste yourself. Summon. Water is surging. Black Magic, Thunder, Shell, Thunder, Goodbye, Water Barrier, Blasted Apart, Slow, which is annoying, what do I have item wise? Comet drain slow. Haste. Because of slow, we have to recast haste. Spider silk, here, you can be slow too. <laughs> and we just need to get haste back on everybody. Withdrew into a shell. Recast haste. Just hit you with flare. Bless throw. Hi, welcome back. I should just have Cecil swing out. I'm just so into defending now. Hi! Because I know you went to Maelstrom. You're weak to that. Throw. There's Maelstrom. Ha! You missed Rosa. It's funny.
summon dragon because you're weak to it so it'll do a ton of damage unfortunately because of the tornado you're not gonna hit with anything else you have to use spells so like holy for example now, you're not gonna hit by throwing anything either as you can see which is kind of a shame we can't have Cecil do is heal everybody And last but not least, Rukon himself, you fight him the same way. Keep Edge on standby, ready to uh, ready to steal, and keep the cloak closed. Man, simple. <laughs> For fun! Everybody's HP back up. Steal. Bless. Need MP. Steal! Enemy has no items, but that doesn't matter because that happens. There you go. You fight it the same way. The biggest change is the wind one because you don't have. Uh, all because you don't have Kane. Counter Blizzara, oh no. Yeah, he heals some of it, but it's so fun to summon, uh, to summon Bahamut. <laughs> Steal. There. And that about ends this fight. Titan. Counter Blizzara. But it doesn't heal enough, so... Bless. Pray for MP. And that's it. I'll just go ahead and skip it. We've seen it a few times now. And that's that. Done. Once you get past the hard part of the fight, it's nothing doing. No problem. Lord Zamus! Bye. We failed. Not again. A sound and thorough defeat. It was that time <laughs> all right now what you want to do is you actually want to run back and heal up and save go through here where is the cottage here we go go ahead and use a cottage to heal up And then save. Go past this elemental arch fiends. Is he here too then? Kane, are you still serving the enemy? Try as many times as you like, Rubicant. Trusting others enough to fight is one, as one is not an easy thing to do. It's not. 
Is such the strength of this planet's evil? Ah, uh, well, yeah, why not? Hi! Didn't you hear? Thank you! Moving on! You're not done yet! <laughs> Giants control core. This node controls the giant's operational systems. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go over this. Cause I bet the game's gonna want to trick me again. I've I've done this before in other in other versions um it's there there's two different ways to do this fight is the uh is the deal it's huge we must destroy the defense node first or repair damage to the core. Now this is true. However, like I said, there are two different ways to do this fight. You can destroy the defense node and then attack the core. You can destroy both. As you can see, there's that big core. That's the thing. And then there's two little nodes. One is the defense node. One's an uh, attack node, an offense node. The offensive one is going to blast you with this really annoying laser. I hate it. If you kill both nodes, the CPU will begin insta-killing people using, I think it's like Command 199 or something like that. Number 199. I can't remember. It's something 199, if I remember. And it will just insta-kill people. Which is annoying. So, like I said, there's really two easier ways to go about the fight. One, you destroy the defense node and then focus on the CPU. You're gonna have to heal through the attack node's firepower, which is annoying. The other way to do this fight is you kill off the attack node and just do more damage than the defense node can heal. <laughs> which is the way I'm going to be doing it. I know. You're thinking, well, you're keeping the healer alive? That's goes against RPG logic. I know. But it'll work out. Trust me. Here we go. The CPU and the two and the two nodes it has, the defense and offensive node. The first thing it does it throws reflect on itself. This is the point. There's the laser barrage that I was talking about. <laughs> it heals more it does more than I even than I remember. That's annoying. Oh, where's the attack node? You have to go. You have to go now. Shell? So yeah, it's even wow, it's even better in this version to do it this way. There's laser barrage again. Also, after you destroy both cores, the uh, CPU is going to revive them both anyway. Wow, you don't heal that much in this version. Okay, in this version, take this option. It's going to work better. Ooh, it, yeah, that's right, because it heals the, uh, heals the other node. The Naga, please die. You didn't die. Before it kills us with this overpowered laser barrage. It didn't do that much damage. We need to get rid of the attack node. Okay. Whew. Good. 
Now this is more doable, because they don't have an attack when they're like this. They just don't. And older versions, the CPU, the uh, defense node would heal for a ton, which made it annoying. It healed for like 2, 3k. Oh, let's see, just before. But like I said, once the attack node is dead, they don't have anything else. Just don't use multi-hitting attacks, because you don't want to kill the... The, uh... You don't want to kill the defense node. And you can't use single target spells because, well, that would kill the... Uh, because it has Reflect. So Ruma is your best option because it'll go through Reflect, as you can see, and it will heal the defense node. So that's that. It's pretty simple. That's all there is to this fight. Once you know the gimmick of the fight, it's... It, once you know how the fight works, the fight is not that bad. This fight, uh, I remember as a kid, the first few times I did this fight, it destroyed me. I... Yeah, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this fight. Plus... That's, that's it. <laughs> now, now the fight's easy. The attack node is what does the damage. And again, if you, just to reiterate, if you destroy both nodes, the CPU begins insta-killing people, and then will revive both nodes. Instead, do it this way for this, uh, I think DS was that earlier, but Steam version? Do it this way. Kill off the attack node and proceed with Ruma until you win. Once it's alone, there's nothing left for the defense node to do except heal itself. So... It's... it's dead. <laughs> oh yeah, I can attack with Rydia, yeah, that's right. Huh, you absorb holy too? That's cool. I think you absorb just about all the resistances now, or all the elements now that I think about it. <laughs> Haven't seen it in a while. Oh, I accidentally skipped it. I didn't want to do that. Guess I can use Bio. And just attack with Edge. We'll do that. And just to speed up the process. Bio! There we go. Done. Easy. Money, EXP. Cecil levels up. Feed to the CPU. It's done. So, yeah. There's your strategy. Take out the attack node before he destroys you with that overpowered laser barrage. And in other versions, it does do a lot of damage, too. Uh, do that. Then... Focus on the CPU with single target attack or single melee attacks and uh, room up because it'll heal the node and then just defeat the defense node. The giant stopped moving. You. How dare you meddle in this? You. You're. Can you not speak, old man? 
do? Do you not even know your true self? My true self? AWAKEN! No! Why? Why was I so consumed by hate? You've regained your senses then. Do you... Do you remember your father's name? My father... His name was Kluya. <clears throat> then you're... Cecil's own... Brother? Golpes is my... You were being manipulated by the all-powerful will of Zemus. Your Lunarian blood rendered you an easy target for his curse and bound your thoughts to his. To think Cluya's sons would be made to fight one another. Vesoya! I fought him. I hated him. My own brother. You are my brother. But were it me, the one Zemus chose to control, our roles might just as well have been reversed. No. There was evil in me long before all this. What? I'm the one who abandoned you. Cecilia, you did wonderfully, my love. He's a healthy little boy. Indeed, a gift from the gods. Theodore. Hmm? We'll call him Theodore. It's a boy's name. It means a gift of the gods. Theodore. That's a fine name. His life will be a blessed one. Oh, this is new. What's the matter, Theodore? Where's father? He's outside, most likely. Come now, back to bed with you. No denying your father granted us convenience. He gave us magic and the means by which to sail the skies. Magic is useful to be sure. There are many who abuse it. There should be sport in hunting. But now treat some treat it as mere slaughter. It's we who use magic properly who the who look the fools. You're watching them again, aren't you? Oh, Theodore. You really like them, don't you? The moons. Yes, I do. Why? I'll explain it someday, when you're old enough to understand. I am old enough! I can even use magic already! Have you mastered cure? Well... Not yet, but... Then you still some things to learn, haven't you? Come, it's late. You should be in bed. All right. Mother, what's the matter? D don't worry, I'll be fine. But your face is so pale. That's because 
I've been working very hard. What do you mean? I have to make sure this little one will be alright. Who? Your little brother or sister. I'm gonna have one? Yes. Yay! I'm gonna be a big brother! Yes. So you'd best go to sleep now, hadn't you? An elder brother needs to set a good example. Alright. Good night. A little brother or sister. Kluya. Father! It was the ones who disagreed with his teachings. They... They used magic. Kluya did not even raise an arm in his own defense. Theodore. Father, are, are you alright? Was I mistaken? Of course not. You can't choose how people use what you teach them. Thank you, Theodore. Father! No. No! Hold yourself together, Cecilia. Cure! Cure! Theodore. No! No! It's a boy! I have a brother! Please, let... let me hold him. You mustn't strain yourself, Cecilia. Please. Thank goodness. Mother? Mother? She knew the risk of this birth, and she still went through with it. A vile thing, isn't he? That brother of yours. What? He's the root of all you've suffered. <laughs> Who's there? If it weren't for him, your mother and father would both still be alive. N no You're wrong! And you are a vile little insect, birthed from womb of Dragon's corpse, are you? Stop! Stop talking to me! I name you... Golbat. Is that? What's an infant doing in a place like this? What is it? It appears to have been abandoned, your majesty. The poor child. Hmm. What is it, my liege? Cecilia. Your Majesty? Mm. Forgive me. I am overthink I'm thinking over much. And yet the resemblance is striking. This child's features they remind me very much of a person forced from barren because of my cowardice. When our father died, I was left behind with our mother, who still bore you within her womb. The other villagers cared for us at first, the people our father had blessed with lunar secrets. But our mother had become too frail and died shortly after you were born. 
I blamed you, telling myself our mother would have lived if it were not for you. I took you, still an infant, to the forest at the edge of Baron and left you there. After that, I took to the borderlands, where I could hide from others' eyes. Racked by guilt, ashamed to show my face, I would not think to ask for your forgiveness now, but I am glad that you survived. What better a pawn could Zemus have possibly chosen than this? Where will you go? To put an end to all of this. Zemus is a Lunarian, as am I. I will go with you. Farewell, Cecil. Cecil, is this all right? That man, he means to die. He's your brother. My brother. Your blood. Your only living family. Uh oh, this isn't good. Cecil. We need to get out of here. But how? This way. Kane! We've fallen for enough of your tricks. We can talk later, but if you want to live, you'd best follow me now. Quickly! my own again. I cannot expect forgiveness, but- Forgiveness? It's your fault the giant appeared in the first place! Stop it! Rosa. Golbez broke free as well. That's why you're free. None of this was your fault. So you're Cecil. Who are you? I'm Kane. Kane Highwind. My father is Sir Richard Highwind, the commander of the Dragoons. Pleased to meet you. Don't think you can be friends with me just because the king treats you like you're special. What did you say? Wanna fight, do you? What's a soft-spoiled little boy like you gonna do to me? I'm not spoiled. Talk back to me, will you? Stop it. Oh, sorry. Thought it was the king. Stop it. Rosa. Men of Baron fight not without just cause. That's what his majesty taught us, isn't it? But he's the one who... Dragoons don't make excuses. <laughs> I know that. I started it. You're an honest one, aren't you? See? Wasn't my fault! <laughs> I guess it wasn't. What do you mean? Golbez is... Cecil's older brother. A Lunarian named Zemus was making use of Golbez's Lunarian blood as a means to control him. Golbez and Fusoya went to the moon to put an end to Zemus. Golbez was Cecil's brother? Well, in any case, 
It would seem. I have a debt to repay Zemus too. Huh. And when he takes over your mind again? What then? If that should happen, kill me without a second thought. Huh. <laughs> then count me in too. I have a couple of blades with this Zemus's name on them. Edge. Let's go. To the moon. But Rosa and Rydia stay behind. This time, there may be no homecoming. Cecil! You can't mean that! Go. Get off the ship. This is work for grown-ups. You just wait for us back here. Fine! <laughs> Cecil. Don't argue, Kane. Oh, you're gonna let me access the menu. Alright, then we're gonna continue this... this episode a little longer. Let's head to the moon! This is it. Rosa. Step aside, Rosa. I'm not going anywhere. Why not? Without me along, who will heal you when you're hurt? Rosa. You can't win this one, Cecil. No use arguing with a woman. Then I'll argue no more. Your help is welcome. Just as we planned. You're here too? This battle is ours as much as anyone. Cecil said so himself. And having some Eidolons along can't hurt, can it? Rydia. Come. Our battle awaits. Gopes, my brother? And now we have the entire party. But we're gonna need to make some changes. There we go. That'll work. Kane comes with brand spanking new equipment. He has a complete Genji set with him. I may give him those giant gloves back. No, maybe. I'm giving him the giant gloves back. Uh, this is your party for the rest of the game. Just so you know. No more tricks. No more... No more really big plot twist. Well, there's still some stuff that'll happen, but uh, this is your party. Equip them accordingly. Uh, he comes with Gungnir. A very powerful weapon. You can give him an axe back if you would like, but I'm gonna stick with spear just for old time's sake. With the Genji equipment, he's pretty good to go. And if you have a set of Giant's Gloves, uh, give him those back for some additional power and defense. Just like they planned, the two cunning ladies. So, they're coming along too. I love that scene. It's just, who's gonna heal you when you're hurt? And like they said, you're not winning that fight. Don't argue with the white mage. Especially you, Cecil, because of the whole love thing. Don't argue with Rosa. You've, you've lost. Move on. <laughs> so, it's great to have this party back. Um, that was neat. That little flashback thing is new, too, in this one. I've never seen that before with uh, Cecil, Rosa, and Kane as kids. That was really cool. All right. That will do it. Now, because this game has thrown some some additional stuff in, what I'm going to do is uh, end this episode here, and I'm going to go back. You have full use of the Lunar Whale now. You can head back uh, to the Blue Planet anytime you want. Uh, you can fly around with the Lunar Whale. All of that. If you haven't picked up Excalibur yet, now's the time to go get it. Uh, you can rest here per usual. 
I don't think we need to. I think everybody has full HP and MP. Yes. So I'm gonna go look around the world and see if I find anything. Um, I don't know if I will. There's probably some hidden stuff now that wasn't in the first game. Here you would just... Er, not the first game, but the, the first, uh, the f other versions. I would just go. You, this, you've got everything you need. But, um, because of the whole augment thing, and I, I know I've missed a bunch. Like I said about the whole Fusia thing, you can give augments to people that would leave the party, and then you can end up getting more augments from them. Th that whole thing. Uh, there may be some augments spread around somewhere in the world. I'm gonna take a quick look around. I may find something, I may not. Um, but if I do, I'll show those off. And then it will be... Just, it'll be time to go. This is the final stretch. There's one dungeon to go. Stock up on potions. Uh, elixirs, whatever, whatever you can buy. Ethers, stock up. Because this is the final, the final time to go. So, with that. Can I save while I'm in here? No, I have to actually exit the ship. So, let me exit the ship. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Till the next episode, I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.